Hi guys, this is a short video of the car seat if your height adjustment not working like on this one Just handle goes up and down, but it doesn't move the seat So you're gonna show now how to do it. You need a mechanism inside So we are gonna start with moving the seat Just go all the way all the way forward Sorry, all the way back with the seat. You need this one. That's M M10. It's kind of on the angle. Take out this one here. Move seat all the way front. Go on the back. Perfect. Now on the front again. Here on the front again. Push all the way back and tilt the seat down. So then you're gonna get up the wiring. Wiring is here inside. You just need on this one spread this, lift all up, and then when you go down down with this the plug goes out. So that's out and this one is simple. This one is more simple, you just need to spread a little bit. Do that. Everything came out. Here we go. You can put those back. This one here, and this one was here. So, why are you just Put wiring here so when you put the seat on the floor you don't want to damage wiring. It's not to be on the way on the rail or something. So one plug, plug is for uh, airbag, an airbag in the seat and believe sensors if this car has sensors in the seat and another one. Another one is here for the seat belt buck buckle for this one. So if your switch doesn't work, you need this. So we will change this now as well. We will change this adjuster and this buckle. So you go forward until the rails are kind of in the middle, so you have space to take the seat out. Lift, uh, lift the steering wheel all the way up and in. Take seat out. One more thing as well, just go forward with the seat. That will give you extra space to go to, to maneuver with the seat. This is without the seat. Now when you put the seat on the floor, just put some car cardboard underneath so you're gonna need to flip the seat on the on the bo on the on the side. So now you start with this one. This is easy. You just pull it. There is clips, three of them they just pop out. So then now we have this handle. For the handle you need to press this like a I will show you later how it looks. Maybe smaller to screw there. Just press it. It goes out. I'll show you this is part that I got. Just uh, there you see. That's what you need to press. Now one thing what the hell already out is this one. That goes here in the corner. That piece here in the corner. You just get a pick like this one. 
press it from inside uh, so the little pin goes out and this detent comes out. Now you are ready to go on the side. So just flip on the side. Here it's easier to do this so you just take two torques from the front plastic. So now this front is free. Just lift this like that and slide it forward. Sometimes you need to pop those. You need to pull stronger so those pop out from here. So this is out. Now we are at just at this one. See, it doesn't do anything. This one, this is already loose because actually I had it out to see what's on. And then in the meantime I found parts. That, now you need bigger torx. So this smaller one was uh, Torx 20. Now you need Torx uh, 30. Like this. Then one was missing already when it came on. I don't know why, but I have other screws. Just gonna try to show you what you need to do there. So you put your torques there, and you need to do this. You need to do a few times until it's loose. And then you can screw it from the top. So once you turn it twice uh, or a bit, a bit more at the bottom, it should start to go easy from the top. And then just the same thing. Okay. It's off already to see what's wrong with how this one. So now watch out when you if it's stuck as this one, you wanna lift, this will go down. So you kind of hold a little bit seat. I mean depends what position it is in, you know. So this is the mechanism itself. I had it, I opened it, I drilled this, I opened it to see what's wrong the other day, but I could see that there's this one, but that all looks okay, but the problem is in here, I'm gonna show you now, here when you open this, this plastic is broken here, it's still in inside here, so that's the problem. We get other mechanism, put it in. Now we have a good one. Here you need to press. Press and pull in the same time. Here we go. You need to press it a little bit down. It lets you. It's a little bit hard. You can go this way. 
so then the adjuster goes in so you have adjuster in we are going now with this plate on the bottom That's three of them. It torques torques thirty. Now we need to get the spanner for this one. Continue now with that. We'll check it later. When we are here, just wanna say, for example, if this one not working and kind of stops, sometimes it can fix only if you push this one all the way in, so it keeps this mechanism the adjuster tight. Otherwise, it's kind of jamming in and stops the work. That's one thing about that. What we said, just go those here on the, on the corner. Perfect. This one has three positions and just just finds itself where it needs to be. Here we go. the plastic, plastic on the front Our seat needs maybe a little repair here in some stage. Perfect. Thanks for watching. We're gonna stick it in quickly now.
We're gonna change the seat belt uh, buckle now as so. Just careful, don't scratch the seat. Here. It doesn't really go there. This hole, here we go. it's going nice there. Here is what you need. This is the one we have. Just go there. Quick comp comparing. This is not strong scrap yard. Here, no. Make sure you tie this on good because that's where your seatbelt is held. Perfect. Those bolts are usually 50 Nm, 45-50 Nm, plus minus. So that's done. Now wiring. It's not reaching for some reason. Yeah. Try always to be tidy. Tidy work things a lot. Here, it's more natural, right? Natural, isn't it? Okay, you couldn't really see. So here, this wire goes there. That's that's about that one. Goes there. So we are ready to go back.